Let me tell you about the magic of Saturdays, especially starting on day one right through to day 10. So we come out and we look at a slab and use a, you have all of the walls beside it. And at the end of day one, the magic of, it's right behind me, all the walls are up. You can walk through and begin to picture our partner family living in this home, where they're going to make their meals, where they're going to sleep. And then each day you add a layer, you add a layer to that home. And then on the last day, and then on dedication day, wow, it's a home. It's pretty magical. I was like moving around, just transient for, for like four or five years, just, okay, where are you gonna be? So I've been kind of unstable. I've gone through with these people since 2011. So I've dealt with a lot of them. And in dealing with them, the, the demeanor doesn't change. It's the same type of respect from each one of them. No matter what you give them, they give you back the good. One of the things that I admire about Dallas Habitat is how much they partner with our families. The very first time that they meet them and explaining the program and explaining what is involved in that partnership right through to handing over the keys. They nurture them, they coach them, they support them, they energize them and they nag them when they have to for documentation and so on. But it's one of the things that impresses me the most about the Habitat model. We're family right through till once you've paid off your mortgage and even afterwards, we're there for you to give you whatever encouragement. Fast forward to 14, 2014 in April. Um, my dad got really, really sick, so I just assumed that I'd be taking, you know, visiting him, getting him back home from the hospital and coming home. It didn't turn out like that. When I finally came back to, to Dallas from Houston, my friend invited me, well, you know, my couch is open or whatever. That's where I've been since November, sleeping on the love seat. It's, um, it's an eye opener when that's not your roof. You're under somebody else's roof. And to be able to say that when I move from under somebody else's roof again, I'll be moving into my own home. So now my journey changes from instability to a lifetime of stability. When I sign on the dotted line, I'll be signing over something for me. Something that when I'm no longer here, my kids and their kids can still live there. I've probably been real ungrateful in my life, you know? Just, just ungrateful thinking, taking different little stuff for granted that, you know, you just you can't take it for granted. We are as invested in making our homeowners' dreams come true as they are. So I kept coming back just because you want to find out more and you eventually get hooked in saying um, I'm, I'm making a bit of a difference. It never gets old and that's why we come back Saturday after Saturday. They really go to bed for you and they make sure that you're ready for this. They teach you about credit, they teach you how to manage your money, they teach you about budgeting, they even offered a class that I thought was awesome. It's landscapers class. So they teach you how to keep your yard up. That's awesome. If I came out there on a Saturday morning and I didn't look like I had had a good week, those people embraced me. Nobody griped about, you know what I'm saying? Even when, when I griped about having to go, nobody griped. So it was like, blessing beyond belief. And I kept feeling, and I still feel like taking the time that God gave me with my daddy made me a better person so that I can appreciate better the things that I have, you know?
the, the people. Those are my things. Those are my blessings. It's added this element of gratitude. Gratitude for everything I have and that I'm lucky to have. And just the gratitude to be part of realizing other people's dreams. Helping them do that in, in such a small way. But to be able to par be part of that every Saturday, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I unlocked my dream. And Habitat unlocked the potential for me to, to attain that dream. That's what Habitat did. I believe so much in the Habitat experience and the volunteer experience that every time my daughter visits me, she knows she has to come out and build. My best friend comes down and visits and says, oh, are we building this Saturday? And my son, who lives here, and I brought him out during the Carter, and he said, oh my gosh, now I understand why you're hooked, Mom. Let me know when I can come out, but this is so exciting, I, I believe. The first thing I'm going to do when I move into my house is a very good question. The answer is, pray. I'm going to pray in every room in my house, and I'm going to thank God for every room in my house. I'm going to thank Him for every nail that He let me have on my house. I'm going to thank Him from every piece of grass outside of my house. I'm going to thank Him for the people that He allowed me to know, that He blessed me with to help me build a house for me and my family. That's the first thing I'm going to do. They make dreams come true. I believe in it, and I've seen it happen with me.